It does everything that you would want it to do if you're sat in your car and able to right, watch. So let's see in action. This knife. And able to watch TV on the screen. Today's review is on this Carpuri dongle. Now it's a wireless dongle that enables you to use either Android Auto or Apple CarPlay in your car. So if like me, before today you were having to plug your phone into the car to be able to use everything, uh, well you don't need to do this anymore because it's wireless. Let's go through what's in the box, then I'll show you how to install it, and then we'll have a look at some of the apps like Netflix and YouTube that you can watch on the screen. Right, let's have a look what's in the box then. So for around about £100, and that's without any discount codes, you've got the dongle itself, the Carperide dongle. Let's just pop that on there. And if you take out the protection inside the box, you've obviously got your instructions on how to use it, but you've got two cables. Now to connect this to the car, you've either got USB 3 to USB C, or depending on what car you've got, you may have USB C to USB C. Now this is actually USB C, so you'll always have to use that, uh, but as I say, in the Ford Ranger, we use the USB 3 to connect it. And if we have a quick look at the dongle itself, you've got two indicator lights on top there to show that it's connected and working. You've got your USB-C connector there, and you've also got on the back a micro USB disc there. So if you've got your own files or films or audio that you want to listen to or watch, then you can just pop that in there and you don't need a, a Wi-Fi connection to be able to do that. Installation couldn't be any simpler. You literally just plug this into the car, then connect it to your phone through Bluetooth, and then you're away. The only thing I would say is for this to work in the car, your screen needs to be able to currently use Android Auto or Apple Play through a USB lead. If it won't do that, then it also won't connect wirelessly. So what I had to do in the Ranger, for example, I had to update Sync 3 so that it would be able to do Android Auto. I also had to do that in the Fiesta as well. So just look into that first. So when you come to install it, get your dongle, get your cable. Now this isn't even the cable that comes with it. This is something that I use to actually connect the phone to, but obviously I won't need to do that now. So I'm going to use this instead. USB-C connector there because I'm using it with a Samsung S23 Ultra. And all you do, just pop that into the connector there and you're away. When you turn your ignition on, these lights are going to come into effect. So once the car's started and this is plugged in, this is where it starts to work its magic in the background. Connects to the phone wirelessly because I've already set that up. Uh, I'll tell you what the Android version is, but there's two screens once it boots. Now this screen that you're looking at there, that's almost like a desktop on a PC. Uh, the other screen we're going to see in a moment. Now this screen is the Android Auto screen, but obviously it's wireless now, it's not wired. Uh, this is the screen that you would see if you plugged your phone into the car. So you've got obviously your Android map. And if we go back, you've got all your other settings. So I've currently got tuning on here. Uh, there's the maps. You can switch it so that you've got it segmented. So if I press one of these, it'll take me there. Uh, anyway, that's your Android Auto. Exactly the same as if you had it plugged into your phone. But if we go back, so if I just click anywhere on the screen, you get this dot coming up here. And if I go home, now, as I said, this is the desktop type one. So if we're going to Netflix, well, we're going to YouTube first. Now I'm going to have to actually turn my phone into um, a hotspot to be able to connect on this because you do need the internet. Okay, so the phone's now a hotspot and if I go up into this setting here, which is the wireless one, turn the Wi-Fi on. Now th this is exactly how it would look on your phone. This screen is how it would look on your phone. So we've turned the Wi-Fi on. You see that it's connected automatically. So if we come back out, Go into YouTube. Okay, so here we've got Clough Reviews on uh, on YouTube. You can go through all the videos. Let's have a look at the one I've pinned. The whole 2 Pro knife sharp. Start straight away, uh, uh, place through the speakers. The Let's just turn it down but a bit. I'll explain why this, pound for pound. So just like on YouTube, you can stop it, you can fast forward, you can move it up. 
It does everything that you would want it to do. If you're sat in your car and able to right, watch, so let's see in action. This knife and able to watch TV on the screen. So we've got that. And again, if we go back out of there, uh, we'll go to the home screen, go into Netflix. We'll have a look at something that I've already been watching, which is Queen of the South. Press that. And Queen of the South starts. So if you're parked up and you want to use your screen as a TV, nice and easy to do. Let's go back out of there. Again, let's go home. Now you can go into the Play Store. Now I'm not signed in at the moment, uh, so it'll ask me to sign in. But if I was signed in, all you'd have to do is um, just find the app that you want to download and it's there. So whether that be Spotify, whether it be uh, Waze, anything like that, sign in, download the app and away you go. So we signed in and if I want to do a search for Prime Video, Prime, do a search for Prime Video, there it is, install it and that'll just download and install on the dongle. That's all installed, open it up and there's your Prime Video. And again, just sign into it and use it exactly as you would on your phone. All right, let's come out because that's not the main screen that I use. The main screen that I use is Android Auto. Obviously, you can also use uh, Apple CarPlay on this as well. If we're going to settings, again, very much like on your phone, you've got your Wi-Fi settings. So we're already connected as we've already done. Uh, you can use it as a hotspot now in the car. We'll come out of there. Um, Bluetooth, so again, it's already set up on the phone. You've got your date and time, let's have a look in more. Everything that you've got on your phone, you've pretty much got on there. Come back out. We're going to original vehicle settings. Click on there. You can change the quality of the output on the screen. If there's any freezing going on, go back. Here we can see the Prime video that I've just put on there. And there we go. Primarily, this is the reason why I got the dongle. Because I want to get in the car, not have to connect the phone uh, through the cable, and it just happened, which it just has. And you use it exactly the same way as you would do with um, any Android Auto. Looks exactly the same. You've got your maps, you can listen to radio. Uh, you can do everything that you would do with it being wired, but it's wireless, so no messing around. Perfect. Right, so in summary, uh, you saw how easy it was to install. You literally plug it in, connect your phone to it, and you're up and running. You've got the desktop at the back where you can download any uh, Play Store apps. Again, primarily, I've got it for the fact that I can just get in the car with my phone in my pocket, and it connects to it wirelessly, and I've got Android Auto. It runs on Android 11. Uh, would I recommend it? Well, if you want to go wireless, it's the future. Definitely a recommendation.